anyone that makes and trust in those idols will be likened unto them having ears but do not hear, having eyes but cannot see. There are people, even if they hear the Word of God, but to listen to it, the real meaning of to listen, because the Bible gives us the meaning of how to listen to the Word of God. But surely they can hear the Word of God. But really, as you ask, people do not listen to it. Why? Let us read one reason. In the Bible, chapter 115, verse... Four up to eight of the book of Psalms. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not, neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusteth in them. Men in our generation have been like their idols, their false gods. Their idols, according to the Word of God, are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not, you see. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they. They walk not, neither speak they through their throat. The point is, they that make them are like unto them. Those that are making these idols are very much like unto the idols they are making. They have ears, they cannot hear. They have eyes, they cannot see. And they have practically everything that the Bible says but they are much like those of their idols, and so is everyone that trusted in them. Our generation is a generation of idol worshipers, religions that worship idols, idols made by the hands of men. 1729 of the book of Acts, let us read. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. We ought not to think, to even think that there is divinity in those things. The word Godhead is translated in other translations as divinity. The word in Greek, translated in English as the Godhead, is theotes, which means divinity or Godhead or the being of God, meaning the word theotes from the word theos, which is God. Theotes is being a God or the being of a God. Those graven images, like Apostle Paul is mentioning, we ought not to think that the Godhead or divinity is like unto gold or silver or stone or wood graven by art and man's device. So there is no divinity in those idols. Anyone that makes and trusts in those idols will be likened unto them having ears but do not hear, having eyes but cannot see. And the reason behind it is 
Let us read in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The light of the glorious gospel will not shine unto these people because the God of this world, which is Satan, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Those who do not believe in the true God of the Bible will automatically be blinded by Satan, the enemy of God. That's why you cannot expect them to hear and obey or hear and listen to or to give an ear because their ears were blocked by the power of the enemy of God. That's why it's very hard for people to understand and to listen to and to obey the Word of God, especially in our generation when almost all are idolaters or idol worshippers.